In this video, you will learn about XG Boost algorithm for a classification problem. The goal is to classify income as 0 and 1 based on some independent variables. Let's import pandas as pd, import numpy as np, import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. I'll make one variable df. From pandas, I will call the method read underscore csv and I'll pass my csv file name census underscore data dot csv. I have successfully imported a csv file and saved in this variable df. Let's look at the shape of our data frame. I'll type df dot shape. Our data frame has 32,561 rows and 15 columns. Let's look at the top 5 rows of our data frame. We will use the method head df dot head. These are the top five rows of our data frame, and we have columns such as age, work class, education, and so on. I'll show you the target variable, and this is our target variable income. We have to predict the income. We have to classify the income as zero and one. We are going to encode this variable into zero and one. Let's also look at the tail of our data frame. We will use the method tail df dot tail. And these are the bottom five rows of our data frame. We can also look at some other functions. I'll write df dot info. And here you will see you will get some basic information about the data frame, such as the column names. Here you will see all the column names. Then we have non null count than the data type for each column we are given if there are any missing values and what is the data type of that column so you will find all the information here we can also use the describe method to get these descriptive statistics about the continuous variable i'll type df dot describe and here you can see you will get all the information such as the count mean, standard deviation, minimum 25%, 50%, 75% and maximum. You will get all this information for continuous variable only. And here you will see in our data frame we have so many variables and if you look at this education variable it is uh, a text variable. It has text values. We can look at the unique values. I'll write df of education dot value underscore counts and here you will see we got all these categories in our column education we have 11 10 7 to 8 so the, these are uh, not cle cleaned ones so these are not clean and we cannot use this directly to our machine learning model so we are going to drop this column so i'll write df is equal to df dot drop we will use the method drop and inside this we will pass the column name the column name is education and then we have to pass the parameter axis axis is equal to one because this is a column and for column the axis is one let's execute our code now if i look at the head you will see we don't have that education column now we have dropped that column and target is our this income is our target variable and we have to classify this variable income i'll show you the unique values in this variable income i'll write df income dot value underscore counts and here you can see we have two values here which is less than or equal to 50k and greater than 50k we have to encode this variable into 0 and 1 so let's make dummy variable it will create new columns based on the number of levels a column has so we are going to create a dummy column for example a income column we have two levels this one is less than or equal to 50k and this is greater than 50k so it will make two columns but at the end we have to remove one column to avoid dummy variable trap so let's get the dummy variables for all columns not only for this income but for all the categorical columns for example 
here you will see we have marital status occupation relationship race gender and so on so we will get the dummy variable for all these columns and before i get the dummy variables first i will show you the shape again df dot shape and here you will see we have total 14 columns but after creating the dummy variables we will have more number of columns so let's create some dummy variables i'll call our variable df which is our data frame then from pandas i will use the method get underscore dummies to create the dummy variables and inside this we have to pass our data frame so i'll write df now it has created the dummy variables let's check the shape i'll write df dot shape and now you will see we got 94 columns here you will see in the above there were 14 columns but now we have 94 columns because we have created dummy variables and i'll show you i'll print df dot head so here you can see we got these dummy variables these are the new variables for each category for example let's look at the salary so in the salary you have seen that we have two levels which is less than or equal to 50k and greater than 50k so these two levels now got converted into two new columns here you will see we got two new columns this one is income less than or equal to 50k and income greater than 50k we are going to drop one column to avoid the dummy variable trap so let's drop one column and we will drop this one income less than or equal to 50k because now our target variable has two columns and we can choose either one so i'll call our data frame df then i will write df dot drop we will be using the method drop to drop the column inside this i will just copy paste this column name from here so i have just copied it i'll paste it here and then i have to pass one parameter axis is equal to one because this is a column let's execute so now if i check the head again df dot head now you will see that we have dropped that column and here you will see we have only one column which is income greater than 50k so this is our final data frame and these all are our variables let's look at the level of our target variable income greater than 50k i'll call the data frame df and inside this i will pass this variable i'll just copy it from here and i'll paste it here in single quotes I'll use the method value underscore counts. In the output, you can see we have two labels 0 and 1, and we have to classify it whether it is 0 or 1, that is, whether the income is greater than 50k or it is less than or equal to 50k. Next, we are going to split the data set into x and y. I'll make one variable x from df. I'll call the method from pandas, I will call the method iloc inside this i will type colon this means i want all the rows then colon minus one this means that i want all the columns except the last column because this last column is a target variable so we are not going to keep that in the data frame x then i'll make one more variable y and now from df i will call iloc and i want all rows and this time I just want the last column so I'll type minus 1 here let's execute our code so we have split the data set into x and y let's look at the shape of x and y I'll write x dot shape in x we have 92 columns let's also look at the y shape y dot shape in y we have only rows we don't have any column because this is our target variable Next, we will import the XGBoost classifier from XGBoost import XGBoost import XGB classifier and we will also import the cross validation score from model selection from sklearn.model selection 
import cross value score now we will define a user defined function for the cross validation i'll write def to write a function then the function name the function name is going to be cross well inside this i will pass some parameter my first parameter is classifier and here we will pass this xgb classifier the second parameter is number of splits and i'm going to put it as 10 so this is a default parameter we can change it the default value is 10 but we can change if we want then i will initialize the classifier so i will write model and to initialize the classifier we will call this classifier xgb classifier or we will just write our parameter classifier because we are going to import that later when we will call this function the next parameter is scores and in to get the scores we will use cross well score cross well score and to get the cross validation score we have to pass our model then we have to pass our data set x and y so i will pass model then our data set x then y and then i'll pass one more parameter cv this is cross validation and we will do 10 times so i'll pass here 10 next we will also print the accuracy so i'll write print np dot round so i'm using this npy to round off the accuracy score in two digits and from this course i will print the accuracy score so i will write scores dot two our accuracy score will be present in this variable scores i am just printing that and rounding it rounding it off to two digits i will also print the mean score i will write print from scores we will print the mean score so we will call the method mean let's execute our code now we are going to call this function cross well and this function takes two parameter the classifier and the number of splits so this parameter is given the default value 10 so even if we do not call this parameter we will get this default value 10 and in place of classifier we have to pass this xgb classifier let's call our function i will write cross underscore well and now we'll pass the first parameter xgb classifier so i will write xgb classifier inside this we will pass one hyper parameter n estimator and we can put any number here let's put 5 here and this second parameter has default value so even if we do not call this parameter it will automatically get called when we'll, we will call the function now let's execute our code so this will fit the model and also do the cross validation for us let's do it so this is doing the tenfold cross validation that is why we are getting this warning 10 times so we will get this warning 10 times we just have to ignore the warning it is still running you can see here the code is running and once it finished the tenfold cross validation we will get the accuracy so it has finished and here you will see in the output we got the accuracy we have done the tenfold cross validation so it has run the model 10 times and these are the accuracy for 10 iterations so for first iteration we got 87 percent accuracy for second 87 percent accuracy third 87 percent fourth we got 86 percent so most of the time we got the 87 percent accuracy and the least was 86 percent the highest is 88 percent and the mean accuracy is 87 percent so we got this mean accuracy from this method here mean scores dot mean so using this function we have fit the xgb classifier model as well as we have performed the cross validation score this video was about xgb classifier in python i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching